Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to draw your Georgia O'Keeffe inspired flower. So this is the flower that I'm going to draw today. I got this from Google. I'm drawing a sunflower obviously and then you can see I'm going to draw the center and then those petals with contour lines. So you could start your flower in three ways. You could start it on the edge of your paper. You could start it in the corner or you could start it right in the center of your paper. But remember we want our flowers to be big so they are going to go off of the paper. So here I'm starting on the edge of my paper drawing a big rainbow for the center of my sunflower. And then I'm going to draw those petals. Once again drawing very big so it goes off of the paper. We don't want any teeny tiny flowers for this drawing because that is not what Georgia O'Keeffe did. Remember, she made her flowers so big that sometimes you couldn't even tell that they were flowers. I also want to point out that it is A-OK -okay if your petals are not all the same exact size or even the same exact shape. Trust me, when I am drawing petals on flowers, they are never the same size or shape. Now I'm just adding a couple extra flowers behind my first, or sorry, petals behind my first petals that I drew because sunflowers have layers and layers of petals. Next I'm going to start coloring the middle of my flower. So I'm just showing you that sunflowers in the very, very center, start off almost black or very, very dark brown. So I'm going to start off with black and then blend into brown. If you have oil pastels, that is ideal for this project so that you can easily blend colors together. But I assume that most of you do not have oil pastels at home and that's perfectly fine. I am using crayon or you could use colored pencil. Don't use marker for this. And I am going to use the same blending technique that we used for our graffiti. So layering colors on top of each other so that they blend nicely. And also going from very dark, easing up on my crayon and getting lighter as I go outward. So here you can see I'm layering the brown over the black to try and make it blend as smoothly as possible. Now after this I realized I forgot to add my contour lines. You can see my contour lines on the sunflower. They're not black. They're sort of a dark golden yellow. And so I'm taking the darkest yellow that I have, which is this just almost gold, I suppose. And then I'm adding the contour lines. And then in a second, I'm going to layer that with a little bit of brown to kind of make it darker. I'm pressing pretty hard here because I want my contour lines to stand out after I color my petals. So just do the best that you can with this. Next I'm showing you that my sunflower starts sort of orangey, like an orangey yellow gold in the center and then fades out to a lighter yellow. So that's what I'm going to do here. Again, using that same technique with um, blending the colors together by coloring over them, if that makes sense. And if you have extra white space, just go ahead and color that in a background color, whichever color you want. Um, and then I'm showing you that if you want to add black around the petals to make them stand out more, 
you can, but I like it the way it is, so I'm just going to keep it this way. Um, post your project on Flipgrid and have fun, boys and girls.